Hello and welcome to Coding Demos. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the Android Date Picker. Uh, in the description, there's a link to the full tutorial with the source code, so go ahead and check that out. And let's get started. So, open up Android Studio, and then you click on the app and the resource. And here, what we want to do is we need to add, uh, we need to change the colors of the app. So to do that, you open up the values folder and then you click on the colors.xml. And here you have the color codes. So uh, change the color codes for the app. And once you do that, you close this file. And then we need to go to the uh, so the resource again and then click on the layout. And here we need to uh, make some changes inside the activity underscore main.xml file. So what we want to do here is we need to add the button and a text view. So this button is actually used to uh, show the the date picker dialog uh, to in the screen. And then for the text view is when the, you actually when you select the uh, the date from the date picker, the the selected date will actually show up. At the uh, at the bottom here, below the the select a date button. So here in the button we have the button ID, and for the width and height we're actually using the web content, and then we're uh, using the layout center horizontal and center vertical, so that the button will be positioned in the center of the screen. And then we have the background color, and we're using the color accent here. And then we are giving a padding of 10 dp, a padding that surround the the button, not actually surround the button, but the padding between the text and the actual button. That's why you see a space from the left side, the right, and the top and the bottom. So the the padding that surround the actual text of the button here. And then we have the actual text, which is the select a date, and then we have the a color for the text and that is white white color so we're done with the button next thing is we have the text view and we're giving an ID of text view selected date and then we have a wrap content for both the width and height and then we have positioned this text view below the button that's why we're using the layout below because we're in relative layout that's why we can use these type of attributes and then we're, set, uh, we're making it in the center we're using center horizontal and center vertical. And then we're giving a margin of 10 dp to the top here so that the text don't get that close to the button. And we're using the text color as the color primary. And then we give a text size of 30 sp so that looks a bit bigger and you can actually see it. And then we have the text style as we're setting the text style as italic and bold. And that's it for this layout. You close this file and then you go and open up the Java file, which is right here. Open up the Java folder, choose the package, and then we have the main activity right here. So you click on that. And here, what we're doing is we're defining the button that we've just created and the text field, and we have the date picker dialog. So here, we are referencing the, the button date, and which is the button that you actually click on. And here we have the actual date, which is the text view. So just a normal reference around here, nothing new actually. And then once the user, or once you actually click on this button, right, the select date, we're going to create the date picker. So to create the date picker, we have, we have actually defined it right here. So hey, what you do is, you do new, dot, uh, new date picker, and then you pass in the main activity and here we have the on that on the date set on the date set here so what we're doing inside the on date set we're setting whatever date that you actually select from the date picker and we're showing it inside the text field so that's why you're seeing date that set text and then you're passing the date and then uh, slash a month slash and a year and then you have the finally you want to show the uh, the date picker dialog so you call date picker dialog dot show 
If you don't do this, you won't be able to see the the date picker show up in the screen. So don't forget to add this line. Don't worry about this comment code. I'll be going through that later on with you. So once you do that, you run the app, and then let me show you the the output right now. So here we have the output. So click on the select a date button, and then we okay we can see the dialog, and the the color here is actually the accent color, as well as the circle here, which is the indicator. So this uh, this indicator and this bar here, they are actually using the the accent color. All right, so you can see here, the date is actually not the current date, and it's like nine, uh, the thousand nine hundred, which is way old, and that doesn't look really nice, right? So you wanna, you wanna select or you wanna get the current date. So to fix that, you go back to the Android Studio, and here is where I'm going to explain to you about this commented out code. So what we are doing here is let's first comment one by one. So here we have the uh, three end types. We have the year, the month, and day of the month. And finally, we have the calendar. So remove this. We, we like remove the comments, not remove the actual variable here. So remove the comment, and then don't forget to import the correct the correct imports, which is the Java util. Okay. And then inside the on click is here we're going to define the, the calendar. So we do that for the year and for the month. And let me explain to you what, we're, what I'm actually doing right here. So here we have actually def uh, declared the year, month, and day of the month, and we have the calendar. So when we use this calendar, this calendar gives us the, the current date. So Right now, when we run the app, before we run the app, we got the, let me go back to the emulator, and we have some random date, right? Like Wednesday, December 31st, and then you got this year. Now, if we, what we want to do is we want to get the current year, which is 2018, and uh, today is 21st, I guess, 22nd, 21st, uh, yeah, 22nd of February. So, to get that actual date, or the current date, you need to use the the calendar here. So first you define a calendar, calendar.get instance, and then the year here equals to the calendar.get calendar year. So it gets the the current year, which is 2018. And then we have the month here, calendar.get month and then calendar month here. And as for the day of the month, which is the the day, uh, it's Thursday. So day of the month equals to the calendar dot, cal dot get calendar day of the month. Now be careful, there are so many uh, different types of days. So be sure to uh, choose this uh, day of the month value. Because for example, let's say if I remove this and I do day, you get day of the month, day of the week, uh, day of the year. So be sure to choose the day of the month. Okay, so once you got this ready, all you have to do is take these uh, these values and then you pass them inside the uh, the date picker dialog. So the date picker dialog we have the on date set, and here you pass the the year as you, as you have seen here. We have the year which is year, and then we have the month and we pass the month here, and then we have the day of the month. And we'll just pass it right here, day of the month. Okay, so now if you run the app, let's give this a run. Okay, so build is complete. Click on the button again, and here we have the the current date, 2018 Thursday, February 22nd, which is great, right? So if we, if you click on let's say the current date, you click on OK, and you got 22nd. That's correct. That's the today's date. And instead of February, you get January 2018, even though we've actually selected February. Let's go and check that again. So we have 2018, Thursday, February 22nd. We click, let's say we choose other date. So 28 February. So we click on that and it still shows up as January. Let's choose other date. 
other month, for example, let's say we choose April. So we go for the 1st of April. Then we click on OK, and it goes back to March. So the reason why it's showing like this is because the the index of the date based on the uh, based on the date API, right? It starts from zero until eleven. So if you choose the February, you'll get January. And if you choose, for example, let's say we go to December, then you'll get November. So if you choose December first, click on OK, and you got November. So you choose November, let's say, you go, you go all the way to November, and you got here. So let's say we go back to uh, May, for example, and you got April. So it's not actually an issue, it's just like we need to uh, add one next to the month so that, sorry, we need to increment the month by one, so once you select uh, April or February, you actually get a February instead of January. So to do that, go back to the code, and then you can see here inside the on date set method. Let's remove this, which is currently showing the day slash month slash year. So remove this, and just we 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 only going to use we're only going to use this line here. So what are the changes? We still have the day, we still have the slash sign here, and we have the month. So the month plus one. It's like we're incrementing the month, whatever the current month is, we're incrementing it by one. So if it's January, we're getting, sorry, if it's February, then we're actually getting February. And then we have the year as the, as the year, nothing changed around here. So let's give this a run. Okay, build is complete. Go ahead and click on the button again. And then we have the the year, Thursday, February 22nd. So we're in February. So click OK. And here we go. We have February uh, 22nd, 22nd February 2018. That's correct. Let's test it with another date. So instead of February, we go for March. Click OK. First of March. That's correct. Let's go ahead and go for the uh, June, for example. June 1st. And we're getting June. Let's test with a year, for example. So I click on the the year here, and they choose another year. So let's choose 22. Yeah, so we have uh, 22nd of February, 2022. It looks good, right? So there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and do give it a thumbs up if you like it, and do subscribe to the channel for more awesome tutorials. Thanks again for watching, and happy coding.